Hi, I'm Elise Wingo. I'm the new assistant manager at Mountain Bridge Wilderness Area. Uh, we're down here at Jones Gap State Park Access, and I'm gonna show you a little bit about the park today. Uh, so we're hitting Jones Gap Trail right now. Uh, that's gonna lead all the way up to Caesars Head State Park. So Mountain Bridge Wilderness Area actually encompasses Jones Gap and Caesars Head State Park. And we have over 17,000 acres here, as well as 60 miles of trail. So we're out here on the Jones Gap Trail. Uh, running right alongside us here is the Middle Saluda River. Uh, a lot of people see this trail and they wonder, why is there so many big rocks and boulders out here? This trail is actually an old roadbed from 1850. It's built by Solomon Jones. And for a small fee, he would let farmers and travelers use this road to get to their destinations. So we stumbled across Campsite 9 out here. Uh, we have 18 primitive sites between Jones Gap and Caesars Head. Uh, so we do have to check these regularly, make sure everything is good and clean, no maintenance issues, no safety issues, so everybody has a good stay when they come here. And we are a pack it in, pack it out park, so we almost never have any trash out here, but we still gotta make sure. So we did get a report out here that our sign was a little messed up at the split between Rainbow Falls Trail and Jones Gap Trail over here. And as you can see, the frame is broken on the bottom of the sign. So I'm gonna get some quick measurements so we can fix that. Twenty one and a half. Twenty seven and three quarters. All right. Very important that we keep our signage up to date so that people don't get lost when they're out here. Here we are at the Jones Gap Ranger Station. Uh, this is a place where you can stop and get information on trails, register for your campsite, uh, as well as possibly get some Jones Gap souvenirs that help support the park. So here we have our historic trout pond. Uh, this was opened in 1931. It was donated by uh, James Harvey Cleveland to the state. It was the first state run fish hatchery. So in this, we may have brook trout, rainbow trout, and brown trout. This trout pond is fed by the middle Saluda River. There used to be several trout ponds in this area, but now all that remains is the structures. Thanks for joining us at Jones Gap State Park. We hope to see you soon.